It's Monday morning, December the 8th. Here we are in a uh, little harbor in Corregidor. And here comes the big tourist catamaran from Manila. I suspect this comes over here every day, bringing a load of turistas to come over here and ride around the island to see the historical stuff that's here. Corregidor was the last point of defense when the Japanese invaded the Philippine Islands. Over there on the pier, got all the buses, tourist buses lined up and all the other sharks are ashore. It's a little bay, and all these uh, docking structures, I'm sure, are World War II, uh, pre-World War II era. Anyway, we're preparing to go ashore here in a few minutes. Just wanted to catch the ferry boat coming in, and there it is. Fifteen, one nine, one five. There. Okay. We can go down here, the boy. So that they can take pictures. Of it. I will see you first. Okay. Now, so the building was destroyed in 1915 during the American time, or me meaning when the Americans start to develop. There. We have a date there on top. When this gun battery was then constructed, it says 1913, 1913, meaning before, before the first World War broke out, the gun because the first World War broke out happened 1914. So this gun is established 1913. So meaning before the first World War is when the uh, Americans uh, tried to upgrade the guns on their ships, so they put already a 14 and 16 inch. So what they did, they removed the small gun and put it here. Oh, okay. So this came from the battleship. And over there is a magazine storage area for the ammunition buried down back there in the hillside. So that is the storage for the ammunition. Yeah. But uh, the tunnel is exclusive only for the Americans. 1,520 feet long, home of the 59 Coast Artillery, American enlisted men, and it can accommodate 5,000 soldiers. Wow. So remember, middle side, 3,000 for the Americans, another 3,000 for the Filipino. This one is only one long building with 5,000 soldiers in maximum accommodation. Okay. And the building also damaged because it was bombed also by the Americans. Because when the Americans came back, this building is almost intact, and the building was used by the Japanese as their hospital when the Americans came back. Open area. I will tell you more later on about open area on your right side. Oh, but before that, our next stop is the movie house. Okay. Cine Kurihidor, the largest movie house in Asia before the war, with 781 seats capacity. Oh. And the last film show in that movie house before the war broke out, entitled Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Huh? Gone with the Wind. Starring Clark Gable and Vivian Lane. Yes. Okay, so the Pacific War Memorial. Oh, already there's this. So that you cannot go back and forth. Because we will stay for about 20 minutes. So all we'll, we'll do is this. Oh, by the way. 